Alright, so today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. I am going to be showing you how to make a TechIt mod pack. We're going to do it completely from scratch. So first you're going to want to download all of the mods. This is going to be the Drunken Space mod pack. So we have Growthcraft, um, Galacticraft, Flaxbeard Steam Power, I think nice tech mod why not chicken chunks carpenter blocks nice building mod and not enough items so I use minecraft uh, launcher to test my minecraft environments so I've already preloaded all of these in so if I go into minecraft tech it or no mod you can see all of my mods are in place plus I've tested it once so it made any extra mods that it has to download which you don't have to include of course and then make sure your mod pack runs so we're going to load her up and of course boot time will vary depending on how many mods you have but this should be fairly quick Do there it goes. Now we test it. Mm, sorry, I had to get a drink. And here we are. As you can see, we have our mechas. I totally forgot about that. Flans mod. Nice addition to drunken space, I think our tech mod here here we have booze very good mod growth craft and galacticraft there so it looks like everything seemed to load it in fine there's carpenters blocks and of course we're looking at any eye so that means we know this mod pack works so then we're going to make a new folder it does not matter what you call this folder and inside it, this is where we're going to build our mod pack. So first we're going to need a folder called mods. Um, no caps. And this is where we put our mods. So we take all of the mods. You can usually pull them directly from the, um, you go Minecraft. Once you've built them inside of here, just leave out unless you have originally downloaded it as a file leave out the files just grab all of the mods themselves here see I'll just do it this way just to show you it works just copy that and paste those into here now in the case of flans mod if you open up the um, thing you the minecraft directory you'll see that it adds a folder here that adds your part packs which is very important in order to get that in place what you do is you um, take it and just put it inside the root directory of your um, your pack and it will insert that into the right spot no problem then next you're going to need a folder called config we'll get to that and a folder called and we'll get to that so first let's deal with config so Say you want a custom config for Flaxbeard Steam Power. Because in the default, you get a 1 in 4 chance of ore doubling. But this is our main ore doubling mechanic, so say we want it to be 100%. We just find the config, chance to double from Rock Smatcher, 1 in X. Change it to 1 in 1, which I've already done. Then save it, close out of it, drop it in there, and then whenever they install the pack, it will automatically install your config change you can do that for any config setting that's saved in the configs folder now for bin we're going to open up forge get 1710 because that's what we're doing find the latest or the recommended I'd go with recommended for 1710 which is right here for some reason the sorter isn't working download the universal wait for this to pop up And 
it's going to take a few seconds to download because I have very slow internet. And then once it's ready, take it out. Rename it. Mod pack. It has to be mod pack, no caps, no spaces. M O D P A C K mod pack. Put that in the bin. You're basically done now. You've got your jar and the clinic or the downloader. Tag it knows how to handle it. You have configs. You have any extras that you need. And you have mods. Now you make a new compress zip folder give it a name make sure that you have no spaces in this name so use underscores no it was called drunk in space I like that okay take all of these put them in there and now once it zips you have to use a uploader where people can freely download things I use a public Dropbox folder as you can see, all my other mods are in here. And this works the best. Setting up a public folder is sometimes a little bit challenging. I think might have made it easier since I started. But once you do it once, you can upload as many files as you want. People will be able to get it. So drop your zip in there and you have to wait for it to upload. Now, you go to Tech It. We're going to start putting the pack online. And you want to make an account. I assume you already have. Um, go to the dashboard or whatever go to create a mod pack and then that's gonna load it's gonna load slow because again slow internet plus I'm uploading something so bear with me there it is give it a name drunken space a bad wolf mod pack Select the Minecraft version. Make sure you select the right version, in this case 1710. If you don't have permission to use the mods and it's just going to be amongst your friends, make it a hidden pack. If you do go through everything needed to make a position, um, um, everything you need to do to make permissions, I use a document spreadsheet like Google Docs and that'll load. Um, then you can leave it expo you can leave it uh, non-hidden so then give it a short description get drunk in space why not as you can see I've already planned this out a little bit agree to the terms of service and hit create mod pack and this is my permissions folder I'm not going to show you how I went about doing this because this is this tutorial is more for uh, groups of friends who want to make private packs and if you make a private pack almost every mod ever will allow you to make a private pack as long as you don't put it out publicly so but in case you do want to make it public basically you want to list somewhere online where anyone can see it and you can always post this anywhere you post your pack list all the mods credits all the makers um, status is just for if it's in the pack or not whether it gives permissions given by default most mods do that if it doesn't you have to ask permission and then a link to the mod and then if you have to ask for permission a link to or if the license is not stored where the mod is stored a link to its license and then if you do have to ask for permission I just take a picture of where I asked for permission and I upload it to tiny pick so anyone can see I clearly have asked the owner for permission so I'm good to go it's very important you want to do this to keep everything legit if you do release it publicly so oh I forgot to give it a name I could have sworn I gave it a name oh well drunk in space we'll have to just redo this all over again 1710 public I do happen to have permission to um, redistribute all of my pack all these mods but I don't this pack isn't gonna go up the name has already been oh that's why Okay, third time's a charm. Nope. Oh, I bet you that this is too many characters.
bet you that's what it's doing. There we go. Now we still have to wait for Dropbox. Oh, it is done. So with Dropbox specifically, though, anywhere you upload it to, you should get a public link, a direct link to the pack. So it has to end in .zip. In Dropbox, you just hit Copy Public Link, and then go to your mod pack. So my mod packs, Drunk in Space, Bad Wolf Packs, Edit Pack. And then mod pack location put that link dot zip. It has to end in dot zip. And with Dropbox, it won't actually let you do that until you have uploaded it fully once. And then you can obviously you can make it hidden or not. You can force them to change directory. I don't know why you do that. You can add mod packs or tags. why not you can get a website if you have a website you can make it a server pack only you can add a server package which we're not going to get into because this is most people who make servers already know how to make a server package so they can do that and then I inverse the header colors and never do that now make sure you s update and it should tell you at the top in green letters changes saved that means it accepted your mod pack locations other things you can do is you can add an overview of the pack a link or a page where people can request help it, you can link them to somewhere I link them to the forum post permissions and licensing if you are doing a public pack post a link to your pack listing here make sure that's there it's very important then resources you can put a pack image I happen to have one that I like to use but I don't have it ready so I'm not going to pack logo pack background um, versions is where you'll come to edit your pack like if you make an update you want everyone to download the update you can change its version there add in a change log hit update version then anytime someone goes to download the pack again it'll say hey there's an update would you like to download it and then um, contributors you can allow other people soldier is an advanced API that I don't use yet I really want to get into soldier but it's really complicated so that's basically good to go so then we haven't made any changes and so we already saved that so go back to your mod packs and then hit drunken space and up here it says install pack that will give you a ticket URL that you copy out now this is what you share other people will be able to find this if it's a public pack but you can just share that link to people and then to install it you need to open tech it which I have I know I have um, I'm not sure where I've hit it away hold on hold on one second I'm gonna find tech it and then we'll get back to this all right so I found tech it it was hiding somewhere so you open up your tech it and you log in this will be how other people find the pack obviously and then add pack or search and there it is about drunken space bad wolf packs get drunken space why not drunken space bad wolf's packs they hit install and it's going to have to download but I'm not gonna show all of this because there's no point you've made a pack you can share your pack with your friends this will download and run it everything's good to go so that's how you make a tech it pack it's that simple and you can of course customize the pack later by um, I don't make a change unless you know it works but if you do find a mod that works with the pack just drop it into the mods folder then do as I said go to edit pack and then go to versions change the version number to say 1.1 it always will start at 1.0 and then you can put a update new mod hit update version and as you can see down here it'll even push a previous versions list then everyone will be prompted to update and there you go it's that easy so thanks for watching um, check out my channel for videos on my let's play I might make some more 
technical videos like this because I do get asked a lot because I post mod packs all the time. People always ask, how do I make it? So I decided, why not make a video on it? So that's everything. I'll see you later. If you watch my mod packs, you'll see me tomorrow. Ciao.